Okay, what is a rib hump? Well, when the spine rotates, it pushes back some of the ribs and you end up with the characteristic scoliosis rib hump shown here. But why does this happen? The spine actually moves in three dimensions. That means it moves forwards and backwards, side to side, and it rotates both ways. So if this is someone from behind, okay, so these are the segments from behind. If the spine is bending to the side, which is common in a scoliosis, it will also rotate. And it does that because of the coupled motion of the spine. You can't have a side bending without a rotation. But interestingly, we can also say that there, the, the coupling motion is also attached to a third motion, which is going to be either extension, especially if you're younger, you get a flat back in the thorax, or flexion if you're older, and that means that gravity is basically getting the better of you, and you end up with more of a kyphosis.